My name is Eileen Perez and I'm an astrophysicist and today we're going to answer how to determine the star radius. The first thing to know is that the star radius cannot be measured directly. The nearest star to us besides our Sun is 4.4 light years away. So even with the best telescopes it's still a point of light. So we can't really tell how wide the radius of the star is. But the stars behave as perfect radiators and what that means is that all the energy that they absorb they re-radiate and there is a nice temperature and luminosity relationship describing such radiators. And this is the luminosity and temperature radiation. So this takes into account the surface area of the star, the Stefan-Boltzmann constant that has a value of 5.67 times 10 to the minus eight watts per meter square Kelvin to the fourth. And this is the luminosity of the star. So generally when we look at a star, we can tell how bright it is, and that's the luminosity. It's how much power we're getting from the star. We generally compare that to a star that we already know, so most likely it will be the sun. And then the second thing that we can tell is the temperature of the star by just looking at the star. So the color of the star is directly correlated to the temperature of the star. So the bluer the star is, the hotter it is. The colder it is, the red, the more red that it has. So we use magnitude filters that can tell us how much blue and how much red a star has. And generally, we call that the BV magnitude. And that tells us directly the temperature of the star. Now let's look at an example. Uh, let's say we're observing the star Capella. And the star Capella has a BV magnitude of 0 0.8. This leads us to a temperature of 4,940 kelvins. Okay, perfect. Now we have the temperature. Now we can tell how bright it is. Capella is 78 times brighter than the sun. So the luminosity of Capella is 78 times the luminosity of the sun and the symbol of the circle with the dot in the middle is to symbolize the sun. Now let's solve for the radius so we can have a nice equation that will lead us to the radius. So the radius square is equal to the luminosity sigma t to the fourth. Now if we plug in all the values that we have into the equation, we get that the radius is equal to 78 times the luminosity of the sun is equal to 4 pi times 5.67 times 10 to the minus 8 watts per meter square Kelvin to the fourth times 4,940 kelvins to the fourth. If we solve for R, this gives us that it has a value of 8.4 times 10 to the 9 meters, which is about 12 times the radius of the sun. So the star Capella is 12 times the size of the sun. And that's how we determine the radius of a star.